Today on News Bite, 120 boats, 6,800 migrants, is it an invasion? Are masks coming back? Will you wear one? And what are these alien mummies? Stick around for these bites and more, all on today's News Bites. Okay, real quick, the UK economy contracted by 0.5% in July due to, in part, quote, extremely wet weather, with retailers suffering in July the sixth wettest on record. All this as US inflation rose by 0.6% from July to August, surpassing the previous 0.2% increase and being the largest jump since January. The Fed will meet to determine whether to raise interest rates in response to the data. All right, here's the scoop. Biden's White House plans to send letters to major news outlets asking to, quote, ramp up their scrutiny of House Republicans for opening an impeachment inquiry based on lies. The letter addressed to CNN, New York Times, Fox News, AP, CBS, and others says the inquiry has no evidence and the media shouldn't portray it as if it does. The draft obtained by CNN says it would, quote, deserve the public to not unpack the illegitimacy of the claims. The move raises concerns over the White House interfering in the editorial direction of newsrooms. Okay, check this out. Journalist Jamie Mausen displayed two mummified bodies at a congressional UFO hearing in Mexico. The hearing was for a UFO law that, if passed, makes Mexico the first nation to formally recognize alien life. Testifying under oath, Mausen says the mummified specimens, which were found in Peru, are not part of, quote, our terrestrial evolution, with a third of their DNA being unknown. The bodies have three fingers, elongated heads, mysterious eggs inside, and are 700 to 1800 years old. Some scientists believe the alien bodies are actually manipulated, a combination of real and fake parts from human remains. All right, here's the latest. Boats carrying mostly men from Tunisia has overwhelmed a small Italian island. Over 6,800 migrants arrived on the island of Lampedusa in just over 24 hours, surpassing the island's native population. About 120 boats arrived, with authorities working to transfer bodies to other locations such as Sicily and Calabria for asylum processing. Italy saw around 124,000 sea arrivals in 23, double last year's number. France and Germany announced plans to block migrants arriving by sea on Italian shores from heading northward, breaking EU asylum rules. Italy is now a main transit hub for migrants heading to other European countries. All right, in case you missed it, will COVID and masks be coming back? Canada and New York seem to think so. Take a listen. We hope people have developed the habit to be able to use masks as needed during the respiratory virus season, not just for COVID, but for the, all the other um, respiratory pathogens that will be transmitted around this time so I do think now is the time to get your masks ready if you don't already have them tell everybody don't rely on the fact that you had a vaccine in the past it will not help you this time around okay Clinton Monroe Ellis Gilmore a member of the LGBTQ group sisters of perpetual indulgence was arrested for public masturbation at a California park after witnesses said he masturbated in his truck for an hour the group recently stirred controversy after being disinvited then reinvited to the LA Dodgers LGBTQ pride night Ellis Gilmore an active member has participated in drag queen story hours for children with his social media showing sexually charged posts and satanic references. He is charged with indecent exposure, facing a possible six months in jail. Those are today's bites, which are on our website at disclose.tv. Subscribe, hit the bell, and leave your comments below.